over the past few months, we have definitely <laughs> made our love of organization very clear. So when yeah. a segment comes around, we do take it seriously. Absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, we have to. And today we're talking organization in your kitchen. Back to give us some tips on decluttering our kitchen is Laura Souders. Laura, thanks for coming back in. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, now before we get started to talk about it, we want to talk about a study that was conducted by Cornell Food and Brand Lab, yeah. right? Yeah, what, what, did, what did that reveal? Um, your, if your kitchen is cluttered or chaotic, you are more likely to choose higher calorie foods. So really? it can affect your waistline. Well, isn't that interesting? Wow, about that? is that why I've been reaching for ice cream right out of the container? I was gonna say there are, there's <laughs> a pack of cookies on the counter that I should put away because we, we reach for them. Uh, that's an interesting study and that's all the more reason we need to keep things clean. Today we're really gonna focus on the travel mugs and the water bottles, which we were talking beforehand. I'm at the point where I refuse any new coffee mugs yeah, I don't or, want or them water the bottles because there's yep. so many. Now if you do have a lot and you use them, mm -hmm. I guess is key mm -hmm. if you're actually using them. Give us some ideas on what we can do to tidy things up. First of all, I suggest that people purge water bottles that don't have the lids, that leak, those ones that just aren't right. I just want to get yep. rid of them. They can actually be recycled, a lot oh, of them. Good. So you could good. recycle them. Smart. Then one of the problems with water bottles is they're so tall and clumsy, they fall all over the yes, place. Yes, they fall in the cabinets. They yep. fall in the or cabinets. Or they don't fit in the cabinets. They don't fit yes. in the cabinets. Yeah. Don't be afraid to raise the shelf in the cabinets, yep. usually. You can do that. But these are great. These cloth baskets, you mm -hmm. can set them in here, and then it doesn't matter if they fall. Right. They yeah. don't fall out of the cabinet. Yes, yes, yes. So they're, That's they're a really great. Good. Um, That's a great idea. Yeah. Why didn't I, haven't I done that? Uh -huh. And yeah. you can also put this on the bottom of a pantry floor, so it doesn't even have to be in a cabinet. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. But that's point. a great idea, too, that. Yeah. yeah. This is for under the cabinet shelf. It just hooks right on here, and then it corrals all the water bottles and the cups that you have. So you can use some of those deep storage places, like where you might have pots and pans. Okay. Yes. Now, where we, can we get these, too? Because, I don't, can I just bed, go out and buy this? Yes, yeah. Bed, Bath and Beyond, <laughs> Beyond that Target, those yep. types of places you can get them. They have all sorts of varieties, colors, yes. and sizes and shapes that are really great. Even at like a Marshalls or oh, yes. TJ Maxx. You love Marshalls, love TJ yeah. Maxx. Okay, yeah. good to know. What about over the door hangers? Over the door, so if you want it out of the cabinet altogether, right. you can utilize the space in like a pantry on the door. Okay. And you can hang um, the over the cabinet or over the door hangers oh, and yes. put them in there. Um, okay. My family of five has a lot of different water bottles, some for biking, some for fitting in the cup holder, and that really holds them all. That's a great idea. You know what that would be good for too? Now I'm looking at it like like your tin foil and your plastic wrap. That would be good. Like also yeah. true. I have yeah. all these ideas now. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, there are still parts of that kitchen in my house that oh, are disorganized, yeah, so this tough. is really good stuff. It's tough because we have the little kids, too, yep. so here's some more tips right here yeah. on the screen. I like this segment so much, so please keep coming back. Thank Laura, you. Thanks I will. So we much need for you. We need you. you. Yes, and here's what's coming up in our next half hour. It's their largest annual fundraiser. It's all for kids. Get invited to Bowl for Kids' Sake. We'll be right back.